Hello guys, welcome back again to my channel once again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to fix your throttle waist, which was banned. This time around, I'm not going to use lining. You can see, this time I have any lining here at the back of my walk. Very nice and simple. And I'm going to show you guys how to fix this throttle waist without lining, only with waistband. So please, I want you guys to watch this video very carefully and tell me how you feel in the comment section. And please, if you, if you are not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will be notified when I upload a new video. So stay with me. And please don't forget to like this video and share it to your friends. Again, now let's start this story. Yeah. Stay with me. Don't get anywhere. And don't forget to ask questions like I said before. Let's start this story. Yeah. Okay, now before we fix the waist, we first of all fix the total, the total uh, pockets, the front and back pockets, and also the zip. As you can see, my own. I have fixing, uh, I have finished uh, fixing the, the pocket and also the zip before we start. Okay, next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to fold into two like this. You can see how I fold it. And now I'm going to mark my waist. My waist. So I'm going to mark my waist now. Okay, now I'm going to start from here. After this, I'm going to start from here. You can see from the other one from the flap side. The formula is your waist by two. Your waist may be 50 or anything by two. You can mark it with your chalk. I can see my own. Now I'm going to mark my bed holder from that tweet, from that marking. You can see. I can see the marking here. I'm going to mark the bed holder. I'm going to mark two inch back from the inside like this. You can see two inch backwards from the inside. You can see how I mark that. Okay, now also from the flap side, from the zip flap, I'm going to mark four inch also from here. This one is my my, my second bed holder. You can see four inch is okay. Okay, now I'm going to measure from that four inch to, to, to that two inch that I mark backwards. And then I have here. I'm going to uh, do it by two. Like if I have like uh, 10 or 11, like I have 11 here, I'm going to do it by 2, which is 5 and a half, you can see. And do you have by 2, you can see, I hide my own. Now, what I need is 6 bit holders, I have gotten 3, I'm going to use that 3 to mark the other 3, to make it 6 bit holders, just like this, you can see how I turn it. I'm going to use that first marking to mark the second one, just like this. Here's my bit holder. And also from that marking also, you can see. Okay, now I'm putting the two dots, you can see. Here the last one. Okay, now I have three, three on each side of it, you can see. This side I have three. And also here I have also three, you can see. Making in the seat with two dots. Okay, now I'm going to start to fix the waist. You can see. Now I have gummed the waist. I have the waist. I have gummed it. In case this is, I use a gun stair, and what I have here is a uh, 1.2 inch for the waist, it's okay. There are two for the both sides, okay. Now, stay with me, no, don't go anywhere. Let's start together, okay. Now, next I'm going to show now is my bed holder. This I'm going to fold it from the back here. I'm going to fold it into two like this. Then, I'm going to sew my bed holder like this. After watching this tutorial, if, if you have any questions, you are free to ask in the comment section. I see how I'm doing that. I'm sorry I'm rushing the tutorial because I don't want it to waste much time. That's why I'm just rushing it. But I'm sorry. I hope you guys will understand it. And if, if you have any questions, you're free to ask on the comment section. I see how, how I sew it. Now I'm going to trim it off. Like this. Now I'm going to turn it. To the front side, I'm going to turn it. You can use anything you have, you can use room or anything that can turn it to turn it to the front side. Now, after that, I'm going to press it with my iron. You can see, I'm going to uh, press it with my iron like this. As long as what I'm doing, you can see, I have full that. Now, I'm going to press it with my iron. Okay, and after that, this is what I'm going to have. Something of this nature, you can see. This is what I'm going to have. Now I'm going to cut this into six uh, bed holders. I'm going to cut it into six different uh, pieces. Like this. Remember what I need is six bed holders. And, and I'm going to cut it into six uh, places. Okay, now you can see I've gotten the six bed holders. You can see. Okay, now you can use a 5-inch length for your bed holder, it's okay, 5-inch length is okay. 
can see again now let's start uh, to choose the waist again now right now i'm going to start from the left side of my pattern now i'm going to open the zip again now make sure that your waist is equal with uh, your pattern waist you can see my own i'm going to start from this flap from the left side now i'm going to stop after the flap like this you can see we are stopped see we are stopped i hope you guys see it very well again i'm going to fold a uh, five inch remember i have folded into two what i have here is two and a half two and a half plus two and a half is five inch you can see now i'm going to start from that place that i stopped this place that i stopped is where, is where i'm going to start Remember, five inch, two and a half plus two and a half is five inch. You can see. Now I'm going to stop. start from that place again. Now I'm going to stitch. Now I'm going to place those petals on those marking. Remember, I mark uh, three petals on each each of the pattern. I'm going to place it like this. You can see how I do that. And also on the second one, I'm going to place the petals also to the last one. This is how I'm going to be doing it. Can see there's the last one okay now um, here's the last one like i said i'm going to cut the allowance off if, if i have any, any allowance cut it off okay now i'm going to stitch uh, the best holder like this like half inch away from the from the waist i'm stitching half inch away from the waist like this i'm going to stitch the three of them in some way half inch away from the waist I look at what I'm doing. And I'm going to cut the, th the thread off. All the thread, cut it off. Please, if you're if not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn the notification button so that you'll be notified when I talk or upload a new video. Okay, now here also, I'm going to cut this one off. This one is, is not needed. Then after that, I'm going to close this place. I'm not going to leave like this. You can see. Now I'm just going to bend like this. I can see how I bend it. Fold like this. Very simple. Just bend like this. Now I'm going to stitch and stop at that uh, junction. Just stitch the two and a half inch and stop there. You can see that place is now closed. And also, I'm going to uh, sew the second waist, the other side of, of my waist, the same way I did on the first one. I did the same way. Just take a tunnel rush, place the bit holders on this marking. This method is very, very simple. Very, very simple. The same way that no difference. And here's the last one. Okay, now after the last one, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop. Now I'm going to uh, lock the zip like this. I'm going to mark it with my chalk so that the boost style will be equal. Okay, now I'm going to fold this marking to, to close my waist. I'm going to follow that marking so the boot style will be equal. And here we go, cut one off. Also, this one, I'm going to cut it off. You can see? Also, I'm going to stitch uh, the best holder so that, uh, like I did on the first one, like half inch away from the waist. can see cut this one off cut all this uh, thread cut it off ok 
Okay, now next I'm going to I'm, I'm going to close the waist. You can see? I'm going to fold it together like I did on the first time, the time I, that I was marking the waist. Now from that first marking, remember my waist yeah, is 34, then by 2 is 17. I marked 17 here. You can see the chalk here. Make sure that the boot waist are equal. The boot pattern, both the waist they are equal. Now from that first marking that I marked my waist, you can see the, the marking here. This way I'm going to start to close my waist. Now I'm going to cut my hand inside. As I'm going down. You can see. Now I'm going to return the stitching. I'm going to fold that first stitching. Check out and don't rush. Fold the first stitching. I return it back. Double stitch, stitch. Okay, now see my waist. Very neat and simple. You can see. You can see. Okay, right now I'm going to sew my bossing hook. I don't like using uh, all this hook, all this metal hook because it will rust. You can see how I fold it. This is my bossing hook. I'm just using the fabric to sew it. Just take your time to just choose a piece of, 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 of the fabric and construct a button hook like I'm doing right now. You can see what I have here. That's my button hook. Okay, now I'm going to fold it like this. After I'm going to fold it like this. You can see I fold it on both sides. And I'm going to stitch here. I'm going to stitch here. Take a time, don't rush. Okay, now here's my button hook. You can see? And I'm going to place it on my waist. You can see? I got that. I'm going to place it on the left side of my waist. You can see. And I'm going to uh, place it like this. You can see, uh, it corresponds with the, the the zip. It's in row with the zip like this. You can see. And I'm going to stitch. Just take your time. Cut and no rush. Can I see? I got that. Can I see how I fish that? Okay, now I'm going to. Uh, Cut the fabric like two inch width. It's okay. Two inch like I'm doing. It's okay. I'm going to use it to turn the flap. Here yeah, is two inch. It's okay. I'm going to use it to turn the flap like this. Then after sewing like this, you can shape it a little. And I'm going to turn it backwards like this. Then stitch. Okay, now you can see. What I have here now, I'm going to fold this place, this particular place, like this. Just turn it like this. You can see how it, 
I did that. Yeah, see, just put it, put it like this. Yeah, good to go. Now I'm going to stitch. I'm not going to stitch on, on top of the uh, of, of my gum. I shoot my hand from the gum. Stitch straight and stop here. Then shape it off. I trim it off. Then from here also, you see, then I'll trim this one off also. You see what I have here. Okay, here I'm going to give here a V, uh, v shape like this. I like to give my my waist flap is a V shape. You can leave, you can leave it like this, like uh, block form. Okay, and I'm going to start to fit my waistband. Here's my waistband. Is what I'm going to use. I'm going to start like this. Remember to change your up thread to black because I'm using black waistband. Okay, now I'm going to put the bed holder like this. Now I'm going to place my waistband on top, then stitch. And this is how I'm going to do it from the first one to the last of my bed holder. Okay, here is the last one. Here's my last bed holder. Then I'm going to stitch to my waist. This is where my waist stopped. Can I see? Can I see? And I'm going to put uh, the waistband like this. I'm putting the waistband. See how I fold it from here. I'm going to fold it. Now I'm going to stitch it. I'm going to, I'm going to strand the, the stitching. I'm not going to do it straight, like strand it a little. That's what I have here. You can see how I strand it. Now I'm going to turn it to the front side. And here is the, the view. How it, it will look like. You can see, here is the back. Now I'm going to stitch the front also. Like this. I'm sorry, I'm rushing. Okay, see what I have. Okay, the next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to close the waistband. You can see, I'm going to turn my waist flap. Here's my waist flap this way. You can see how I fold my waistband. Turn it to the front side. Turn it very well. And here is the shape of my V, of my V shape. You can see, here is the shape. Let's see how I turn it. Okay, now after now, after that, I'm going to close uh, the waistband. But make sure that uh, you turn it very well. I'm going to conclude it this way. From that uh, waist joining, if you am going to stitch it, make sure that everybody is last. Like this. Just stay with me, don't go anywhere. And I promise you, you understand the story here. And if you have any questions, you can feel to ask on a comment section, like I said before. This time, I'm going to close the waistband. I will see what I'm doing. Check your time. But remember to change your down thread to black before you start closing your waistband. Like, like I did. 
push the allowance inside the waistband before you stitch the allowance push it inside the waistband before you stitch you can see how i'm doing it Okay, now I'm almost done with the tutorial. Now I finished uh, closing the with one. Cut this thread off. Like I said before, if you have a good story, please tell us on the comment section. And please, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and turn on the notification button so that you will be notified when I will upload a new video because I have more tutorial to teach you on this channel. Okay, now you can see my work. Very neat and simple. Here's the back uh, side of it. Okay, next thing is the flap line. The flap line. I'm going to sew the flap line from the left side. Like one and quarter inch is okay. One and quarter is okay. So I'm going to start. Okay, now after the zip opening. Make sure that the right uh, flap is free on the inside. Now I'm going to cut my, my hand like this. See how I cut my hand. Make sure that the right uh, flap is free from the inside. Then stitch. Okay, guys, we are almost done. Now I'm going to uh, close the flap. I'm going to bend the flap together from the inside. I can see from here I'm going to lock the zip first from the uh, top part of it of my flap I'm going to fold it together like this then stitch like this this is what I have okay guys you can see you're almost done with the tutorial you can see here's my back work You can see how neat and simple it is. Here, here is the back, very neat and simple. Cut the thread off. You can see. Now, next I'm going to do now. Next I'm going to do now is attach button. You can see. Here is the inside, very neat. Now I'm going to attach bottle uh, button here. You can see. Where I place the button on top of the zip and now with the zip, you can see where I place my button. Okay, now I'm going to um, tack it like six times or from five to uh, six times. You can see. Can see what I have almost done. Stay with me now. I'm going to mark uh, the other side of it, the flap side of, of the waist. First of all, I'm going to lock uh, the first one with my button hook so that I can mark the button, the, the waist flap, which I, I'm going to do button hole after. Can see, I'm going to do button hole here, so I'm going to attach button here also. For the button hole, you can see. Tack it, take your time. Please, guys, tell me how you feel about this story on the comment section. I want to know how you guys feel. If you want me to bring more of this story, then me don't forget to like the video and share it to your friends. Okay guys, this is the end of this tutorial. This is what I'm, I want to show you guys. I don't think I've learned everything that I did here. 
Like I said before, if you have a request to your great art on the comment section. Okay guys, I'm going to stop here for today and I would like to see you guys in my next tutorial. So thanks so much for watching this video. See you guys in my next tutorial. Thanks so much.